Times are tough. I was at my buddy's apartment recently, drinking Sanka, chit-chatting, stealing his neighbor's Wi-Fi, and uh, he pulls this envelope off of his coffee table, and he goes, look at this! Jury duty! How am I gonna get out of this? And I was like, look, man, you're 35, unemployed, and live in Detroit. If I were you, I would probably take it just for the paycheck at this point. <laughs> Unless you've cooked up some pyramid scheme that involves you taking bong rips and playing Xbox, I don't really see a lot of career opportunities coming down the pike, my man. And he said, I know how I'll get out of it. I'll just say I'm racist. I'll just say I'm racist. Yeah, you are racist. He said, I'm not a racist, Mike. I said, listen, if your plan to get out of jury duty is to say that you're racist, that means you're automatically assuming that whoever's on trial is going to be a minority. <laughs> Which is textbook racism, basically. He said, well, I heard that if you say you're racist, they have to let you out of jury duty. I said, have you ever served on jury duty? He said, no. I said, well, I have. And they don't pull you aside and ask you in private why you're unable to be a juror. So good luck declaring, hey everybody, I'm a racist in a crowded courtroom in downtown Detroit. <laughs> I applaud your bravery. That was three weeks ago. I haven't heard from that guy since. He's, de he's definitely dead at this point. <laughs>